In this video of the series, we will explore characteristics of hyperbolas. Here we have a hyperbola that opens vertically. In other words, its major axis is in the vertical direction. We know this because of the foci are aligned vertically with each other. Now let's call the distance from the center to the end point of the major axis A. And our focal distance, the distance from the center to the focus, C. Let's draw a circle that has F1 and F2 as the endpoints of its diameter. From the endpoints of the major axis, go straight out. Where those lines hit the circle, go straight up and down. The vertices of the rectangle that is created will help determine the asymptotes the hyperbola follows. Since the minor axis is on the x-axis in this case, we will label half the length of the minor axis the distance b. Make sure that you noticed that unlike ellipses, the major axis is not necessarily the longer one for hyperbolas. Now pause the video. Looking at the diagram here, what do you notice about the relationship between A, B, and C? You're right, it's the Pythagorean theorem, a squared plus b squared equals c squared. Since our hyperbola has its major axis in the vertical direction, its equation is as follows. However, if it was oriented horizontally, the equation would be as follows. Hey, wait, how do we know that's the equation? I need to see some proof. Well, my friends, in one of our follow-up videos, we will explore this question. How do I derive the equation for a hyperbola?